Hello. I gotta get myself free. All right. Hi. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody enjoyed the Ninjago video I posted. I'm working on another one right now, but before that one goes up, I want to do a shorter video about this. Before we get started, this is what my dollhouse looks like these days. I did a little bit more in the bedroom. I gave them curtains and I made these really cute cookies for their kitchen. I feel so proud of them. I made sugar cookies and gave them details and everything. Also look at the mom's oven mitts. I sewed those by hand. They took me like an hour each because they were so small and so difficult to turn, but I love them. I keep meaning to get a grab bag from miniatures.com because they keep putting them up and I keep wondering oh should I get one should I get one so this time I did get one and I want to show it off to everybody the basic concept is they take a bunch of things that they need to get rid of but normally can't sell and they put it in a bag and they sell it to you they tell you on the website that some of the pieces might be broken or chipped but they say that anything that's sent to you can be easily fixed with like a bit of glue or paint or something and such was the case with mine there's a lot of plastic in here to start with. They set it in a really big plastic bag with a bunch of bubble wrap and stuff. This is something I actually bought off of Amazon. This arrived the same day as my grab bag, which is why it's sitting in the box. But I wanted a nicer Christmas tree, you know, better than the bottle brush trees that everybody gets for the dollhouse. I wanted one that looked more realistic, more like, more like my mom's. It was like five bucks plus two dollars of shipping because it was coming from the UK. And I think it looks very, very pretty. It's a good scale for the dollhouse. And now I have 10 months to decorate it for Christmas. I might have to make another tutorial for the channel. This is a lighting fixture. I got three lighting fixtures in the box. Two of them were electrical, the type that you have to, you know, use all the soldering and everything to hook up. So they will have to be non-working lights, but they will look so cute in the dollhouse. And actually I hooked it up to a nine volt battery and I got the lights to light up so that was pretty cool this is the other lighting fixture that came in it was a little damaged the bulb see came out I'm probably gonna have to glue it back in before I put it up anywhere but this was like one of my favorite lighting fixtures they had I just think it looks so cute that's what was kind of nice about this grab bag because most of the things that they sent me are things that I can immediately use in my dollhouse project. Lighting fixture number three, this is the one I am the most excited about, is, boom, this battery powered light. Wicked or what? Oh, so cute. It can also magnetize to something. I don't know how that would be useful in a dollhouse, but I think it's really awesome. It's probably gonna go on their porch. I think it would suit their porch very well because now they have a flagpole back there and they have their cute little diamondy handle. So I think this will suit their porch and the look of the outside of their house very well. This is another thing I was super duper excited about. This is a mailbox. Ah! Look, the flag goes up and down for real. It also, mm, one second, it opens. Ah, uh, like the lighting fixture, this is slightly damaged. Uh, the base came off, but I have metal glue, so I can glue it back on quite easily. I just haven't done it yet because I was going to work on the video. It was also chipped in the paint right about here, but seriously, I just took white nail polish and I fixed it. It wasn't even that hard. So I'm going to glue this back on there, and then this is definitely going outside their house. Okay, this was also in the packaging. I don't know if this is a lighting thing or what this is if i'm being honest i have no idea and now we have this it's an itty bitty little birthday cake look at all the itty bitty detail on there now i don't have to make a birthday cake for my dollhouse because i was thinking of doing one but now i don't have to it's so cute so so cute it is now the third cake that i have for my dollhouse and i'm busy making a fourth one a chocolate one Another kitchen item were these. I recognize these. They come from a set of blue floral place setting stuff. And this is considerably too big for them. I mean, this is so big you could serve the little girl on it. But this is the perfect size for the turkey that I made. It is absolutely the perfect size. I've been needing a platter that wasn't my really bad polymer clay platter, so. Alrighty, final item is this. Look at this. This is a bed kit. Just look at these bed posts. Aren't they beautiful? 
I don't know what I'm gonna use this bed for, but it is gorgeous. Hopefully when the time comes though, I'm actually able to figure out that, all that netting on the bed. Alrighty, that is the end of the box. I would highly recommend these grab bags to anybody because like there was there is so much stuff in here that I can use and not to mention I looked at the value of a lot of these things and I got this bag for $20 and I have at least $70 worth. Everybody that I saw in the review said theirs was like a hundred or more and some of these items I couldn't even find the prices for because they aren't sold on the website anymore. So I don't even know how much they're worth, just the ones I could find, they went up to $70. So this is such a good value, not to mention they gave me one of the battery powered lights. Oh, so like I said, I would highly recommend these to anybody. They're just so good. Well, I will see all you guys next time and don't forget to check out my Ninjago movies because not to pat myself on the back, but I think they're kind of funny. <laughs> and they're only like a minute and a half, so it won't take that much time out of your day. Just go watch them. See ya!